Brunch is my favorite meal to host and a lot of times I make quiche. So today I am making a roasted tomato basil crescent quiche using the original Pillsbury Crescent dinner rolls. So we are using the dinner rolls instead of making a traditional pie crust for our quiche. This is ultra easy. Just gonna pop open the can and then we are going to separate these into those crescent triangles we all know and love. You get that good buttery flaky crust and there's just more of it than when you're using something like a pie dough. So these little triangles go into a nine inch pie plate. I've just lightly greased this with a little bit of cooking spray and then I lay these out like spokes on a wheel. And then we just go back and kind of seam this together it won't totally cover the bottom, so you do just stitch the edges together and then you might need to push it up against the bottom of the plate just to cover everything up. Then I just roll under all the edges so it's nice and neat. And then you can crimp these with a fork just to have a little bit of a decorative edge. Anytime I'm making quiche, I always blind bake the crust, which is basically pre-baking it before it gets filled. That ensures that we'll have a golden brown crust that's not doughy or soggy at the bottom. So I'm just going to dock this with a fork. And this just goes into the oven at 400 degrees until it gets just lightly golden brown. You don't want it too brown, but we do want to get the crust nice and ready for our filling. All right, this one's ready to go. Beautiful crust, just lightly golden brown on the bottom. And now we get to assemble our quiche. So what I do is actually line the bottom of the quiche with slices of cheese. Today I am using Havarti. And I just always love cheese and quiche, but I like to use slices because I feel like it's a clever little lining for our crust. And then again, it'll help keep it from getting soggy. The next thing that goes in are my roasted tomatoes. I already roasted these in a 400 degree oven. This is just two cups of grape tomatoes drizzled in a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Next up is fresh basil. So I just roll these guys up, run a knife through them, and then this will get sprinkled over top. Okay, now we are ready for our custard mixture. A little bit of milk, and then into this I'm going to crack three eggs. And then the next thing that goes in here that might be a little bit unusual is a little bit of sour cream. Just a dollop, about a quarter cup or so. Just adds a little bit more creaminess. All right, next up, good heavy pinch of salt and then pepper. So I'm just gonna pour this over top. We are just going to make it. All right, so make sure to set this on a sheet tray. Just makes it easier to get in and out of the oven. And we are going back in at a lower temperature. We are going in at 350 degrees until it's no longer wiggly in the middle. All right, this little beauty is all set to go. It's really hard to give a timestamp on quiche, but if you just shake the pan and there's no wiggle in the center, you're good to go. Also, if your crust is getting too brown, just cover it with a little foil collar or one of those clever pie shields. And then I'm just pairing it up with a lightly dressed salad. And this to me is the perfect meal. Roasted tomato basil quiche with Pillsbury Crescent Rolls.